All right, so let's hop back into some NBA Live 10. I don't know why we had a little, we had some technical difficulties on that uh, first part of the video. I pretty much got across everything I wanted to say, so this is just mainly for gameplay, just to get you some more, some more looks at what the gameplay is like and all that, all that jazz. So here's your lineup. Oh, this is a good Celtics. We got Kevin Durant, Chee Wallace, Paul Pierce. Uh, oh, did I trade? Is, is my roster messed up here? My roster's messed up. I'm, I made a trade to put Ray Allen on the Knicks for some reason. I think because I was playing with the Knicks. Let's see. I didn't even load my roster. I must have just loaded on the map. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I missed the stop. I added Grant Hill and Stephen. Oh, Stephen Lopper is over here. All right, we'll, we'll just play with them then. Whatever. If you're curious, oh, Monta Ellis. Talk about Mr. Underrated. Monta Ellis was like, he was like a little Steph Curry, Clay Thompson type player before them on the Warriors he wasn't quite as good of a shooter but he was an explosive player explosive guard man I remember him I, I thought him and Steph Curry were going to be a great candidate and then he just kind of disappeared into the night I don't really know what happened to Monte Ellis but Warriors fans out there you should know Monte Ellis he's a good player um so yeah, we're gonna play. This is this is actually yeah, Steph Curry's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what a huge bonus it is for a team when you get scoring oh, contributions the like the first one play? Yeah, recently from him. I mean, oh, it, he's boy. not really supposed to be a big star, but he's putting up good numbers, and that See, means I mean, the defense has something else to worry that's about. Close. He's been he's really good. good. Go on YouTube and look up Monta Ellis, man. He, he was a fun player to watch. Steven Jackson, this is post... Uh, Malice at the Palace, Stephen Jackson, right? More mellow. He comes back to hit the second after. <laughs> I don't know if he ever got mellow, but he was a uh, he was always a good player, though. That that event did not end his career at all. Um, we ride together. Barber Stephen fires. Oh, by McGinney. New York kid, his cousin Sebastian Telfair. He's such a book about him. Curry for the block shot. The pass to Allen. And he converts. She's going to turn up the volume just slightly. Not so much for the announcers, but just so that you could hear the switch. <laughs> Those rim graphics, bro. You got to appreciate the rim graphics. It's a huge, huge part of it. I gotta be honest, if you're like into basketball games or whatever, that is actually important. And this sounds kind of stupid, but I remember weird graphics were even listed as like in the review of NBA. Jackson on the quick release. Or whatever. The Fox, the Delivery Fox to Allen. Because they were like, you know, whatever you say, but the rim graphics are good. Actually, an underrated college basketball game. And score. Underrated basketball game in general, which I'll point out. It's really close so I can see. I have the box, I think. Fox Sports College Hoops 99. That game is decent. It actually plays better for the 64 gets than space. the NBA Fox Sports game that I have for like the PS1, um, which I play on the PS2. I mean, I don't play much anymore because that game is to really Jackson. Good, but good presentation, good announcing. Uh, Beautiful good. outlet in traffic. Allen to the pull up. That's his first miss yeah. of the night. Ellis with a nice pass. Andres Beatrice with the duck off the yeah, pass so right on target. So this just give, again, just give you like Barber a curling in. Um, Amari Stoudemire with the bucket. I, I just think this game ages pretty well. I think it's fun. The graphics are fine. Um, you know, if you're obsessed with graphics, 
Ellis able to beat his man off the dribble. Here's Beatrice. The Warriors keep it on. Beatrice denied. The Warriors will get it back. Mark, keep an eye on second chance opportunities as the game goes along. Offensive rebounds could be the difference in the game. To be honest, they took the All Star. Jackson on a quick release from downtown. Here's McGinnis and scores. We love the hustle, Mark. The offensive board leads to the putback, and that's pure energy right there. I don't think that's an easy game. Stoudemire popping out to like, set the screen. The other than that, and um, the field goal. I just like the way the game plays. I like the way it flows. Um, I think it's a fun game. It's fun to dribble. Ellis games. penetrating. Controlled so, by Marber. Yeah, yeah, Mar they I, need to I, be I, alert I and sharp okay. offensively, and that's um, certainly not the case there. Uh, you know, what would live, or what would it look pass? Looks like he's going to try and break his back down. That's pretty much what this game looks. Barber with the shot. And Monte Ellis scores. Nice move. In 09, that way it doesn't get it. In this game, does. So you see here, you can just cross left to right. Curry looking for a position of the paint. To pull forward where he starts going into like his, his moves. Here's Marber. The Knicks crashing the ball. But Getty oh, with oh, good block oh, and a goaltending oh, violation oh, is called. I actually gone. do want to make one adjustment here, though. I'm going to take that three out, but joking that way. a little better. And honestly, I might bench Marbury for those. I love Marbury because he's a home homeboy, but you know, from New York, but, you know. the pass to Jackson. Uh, Ellis on a quick release. A minute and a half remaining in the first. Knicks up by three. And Ray Allen able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. But Getty trying to break free. And Stephen Jackson with his first field goal. Maybe not the best of shots, Mark, but somehow he got it to go in. Delivery to Allen. For three. But Getty able to succeed with that box out. Grabbed by Allen. Hill firing. Ooh, that was ugly. Man, that was some pug fugly right there. This club really wants to finish strong in this quarter, Marvin. Here's a two for one opportunity they can take advantage of. Hill biting up. Good look. Beadrich with a quick release. Terrific help defense there, Marv, on the interior. You guys watching AEW for me tonight? Stoudemire fires one up, and it's good. I want to be into it, to be honest. Ellis with a crossover. So at the end of the first quarter, the Knicks lead by six. Steve, this has been a well-played first quarter. I think like some of their worst work. To be honest, uh, between the two of them, I also felt like they just threw the the trio match together for the Bucks and Kenny uh, to get their belts back, which I thought was like a little lazy and, and disingenuous because it's like 
They haven't been there, and even if things haven't been going great, I feel like the, you just throw them back in and just basically, it's so obvious that they're just going to be handed those things back. I just don't even, I think if you're going to bring them back, make it a surprise, at least, or something, right? Or bring them back with, like, some fanfare, and just, like, put them back in the tree in there, it's just kind of, they could, they didn't even talk before, they're just going to come out and have a lunch. It just kind of gets back to the same And Derek Rose, yes! AW is, like, a match fest, and definitely overdoes the story sometimes, and overthinks it, like, how they built up the Roman Drew McIntyre Ellis with the bounce pass. And like, Here's Beatrix and, and scores. Yeah. It's a great Drew shot there, Mark, but you have to like the fact that the defender is up in the shooter's shooter face, contesting the shot, and, and really trying to put pressure on. That moment cannot be recreated again. Rose with another shot, and he hits it. Strong move there, Marv. Loves to go left. Everybody knows that, but you can't even stop it when you know it's coming because he's just too good going in that direction. Rose didn't win every match. He won a lot. Ellis with a crossover. And Andrus Biedrich off the mark. Great defense here, Marv, forcing a very difficult attempt. And sometimes twice Rose so fires again. Sense. That's his first miss of the night. Dude, he's not the greatest in all time, right? It's, this is a waste of, of a use of oh, the only guy in WWE history who they've had who they should go from that. Great moment. penetration. He, he just flew by the defense and got all the way to the rim. Rose with an excellent look. He hit it. Has Allen is two for four from the three-point line. As good as Roman is, I just think it puts it puts the company in a bad spot because how here's the goals. He was able to attack the rim yeah. through heavy traffic. I like what they're good. doing here, Mark. They're not settling for outside Moment jumpers. They're trying to get back into this ball game with an aggressive attacking offense. Looks like he's trying to set his man up here. Even, uh, the big guy, like, Rose with the shot with the bucket. Braun Strowman. And if you remember correctly, when Roman first got the title back, he took it from Braun and from Drew. Right? Pass to Jackson. So it's like those guys have just been lower. But Getty gets position down low. Very poor can, offensive execution, Marv, and they end up so, with a terrible so shot. Right? I don't Carol, know. I'm tempted to watch. I'm sure the AWP will be good. The, the card is very good. You know, there's, there's no doubt. Card is good, and typically a good card like that. Yes. I don't think they'll be regret watching. So I'll probably watch. They don't have a ton of good music, so you know, so like, uh, and something else is coming up. Kind of and Monte Ellis can't get it to go there. Oh, they gonna finish strong in traffic. Well, anyway, back That's to demoralizing life. defensively, Sorry, Marv. You play defense. solid defense, then you give up the easy putback. Rose trying to fade away. I going to get the numbers bounce. And then a number. Okay, my dudes. The pass to McGetty. And scores. Jackson is two for five from the field. Steve, Stephen Jackson has had some huge shots over the course of his career and is not afraid to shoot the ball in those final minutes. Now, he'll shoot from anywhere, Marvin. You can see with that high release, kind of from behind his head, very difficult for the defense to challenge him. And Ray Allen off the ball. Yeah. What a move on the slant. Easy to see more of why get rebounding totals are so important in this game. You've got to find a way to get the ball back when you force a miss. Delivery to McGetty. Jackson fires. They've got to use more clock bar, work the ball, try to establish some kind of an offensive rhythm. NHL 2K5 video as well. Stoudemire again at the field goal. Chris through the nylon right there. That was wet. Oh, bunch of umbrella. Stoudemire. As a bouquet, Stoudemire. looking for the ball. Swish and three. Ray Allen called for the foul. That's his first. And Coletta Azubuki to the line. He's an 81% free throw shooter. Uh, the free throw shooting mechanics in this game also, it's pretty good. It's basically... They simplified it from the year before where you had to like, like in 08, you had to do like where you lifted the guy. And he makes the You basically uh, pulled back on the right interlock and then pushed it forward in the timing mechanism. And this one, you just timed it. One minute remaining in the second quarter. quarter. It's a nine point game. Oh, that'll be a foul. He was just too aggressive in closing out on the perimeter shot. And Derek Rose at the I line. Mean, let, let's. 
let me do something here. Let's look at this game. Let's just pull back. I'll just leave this here, right? Let's just look at this game. Just look at the shot. And just see how... I just think this game still looks good, right? Yeah, I, I still think this game looks good. When you just watch the game blow on its own, I think it looks really good. Final minute of the second quarter. Knicks up by the, 11. Is this his MVP year? This might be the going... Uh, this is the year. Ellis on a quick game. release. The Warriors control. And Andrew Theodric got the roll. Well, it's been a it's tough go so far, Mark, but they're doing the right things to try to get back into the ball game. Rose with the shot. Wow, what a defensive possession. And Mark, this is how this team's going to get back into the ball game. Theodric puts it up again. More of absolutely terrific defense, something I really know nothing about. But you know what? When I see it, I know it. Shoots for three. And Ray Ooh. Allen with 13 points. Ray Allen, bro. Ray Allen is... One second three. differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Got a, got a shooter. So underrated. Ellis with that change of pace dribble. Yes. And this time, but man, he can... He was such an exceptional shooter. Just a beautiful strike. He's a shuttle work. Rose gets it back. The Knicks on the glass. And Amari Stoudemire with the spectacular move. Clear up the glass, man. Ellis from center court. That's the end of quarter number two. The Knicks lead by 13. 13 point lead at the half. That, that's probably the game, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do it. satisfied with what took place in the first half but from the coaching point of view what are the keys to keep this up in the second half well I think anytime you've got a comfortable advantage mark you've got to rebound and defend that's the way to maintain a lead and that's what I'm looking for in the second half it's picked off to the step back, handled by Jackson. That was like a heat check, I guess. He a tough shot. Fires for three. Rebound by Hill. And a foul is called. Well, you like the defensive intensity as he tries to take the charge, but he just didn't have position. Good call by the officials. Amari Stoudemire's shot has been right on target. Well, we're going to get another look at this shot here, Marv. You can see just how confident he is with his offensive game. He's had another good night. Ellis, we don't want to get sloppy here. This team has built this lead, but... You miss easy ones like that, the advantage will vanish in a hurry. As a bouquet, firing. Yes. Rose sweeping in. Ball's knocked out of his hands. Jackson able to reach for him. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. As a bouquet, again. He converts. As a bouquet, giving no room. And Derek Rose misfires. Well, you have to love the way he gets out and challenges the shot. When you're trying to come back from a deficit, this is the only way to do it. Play solid defense. Be a drink. Nice move. Here's Allen. Beatrice able to succeed with that box out. Great defense there, Marv, forcing a very difficult shot. 
Beatrice comes out to set the court. Here's Jackson. Beatrice able to chase it down. Whoa, with authority on that dunk. Well, this is how you get back in the ball game, Marv. Hustle, energy, you gotta love the offensive rebound. Second chance opportunity. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Knicks up by seven. Hill fires one up. That's what I scored a point. I haven't scored a point in this quarter. Pass to Jackson. The Warriors keep the possession going and scores. Jackson is three for ten from the field. That's an 8-0 run for the Warriors. Great run here, Marv. And this club continued to battle when things were bad, and they're right back in this thing. And Derek Rose able to hit. Marv, I think they've let their guard down defensively here. They've got to tighten things up and get back in this game. Ellis looking to get over. NBA, even at Here's Asapuki. Those, those three the to pass four to guys in the court that you need to really guard the entire tour. In modern day NBA, that guy who I left open there, he's going to take that shot. And the field goal. There weren't a lot of big men or guys playing the four or five spot who are going to shoot the three and shoot even a long range Ellis shot. Ellis looking for the open back. back. And it's good. Shot. Jackson so, is 4 4 so 11 from the field. That's a big difference. Steve, they call him Captain Jack. He loves to run, he loves to shoot, and fits it so well guys, with this team style. He's got that high the release on his shot that's so difficult for defenders to challenge. He really kind of prefers to lean a little bit to his left. That seems to buy him some rhythm. He's going to take that shot. Shot clock down to six. Stoudemire with another shot and scores. That, that is a One minute big, remaining big in this third quarter. Knicks up by nine. Anyway, but getting actually looking to get the ball all down low. Nice play. And Andrews Leibrim converts on a beautiful pass. That's pretty much it for me in uh, NBA Live 10 in this round. I'll do another video on this again uh, at another juncture. But I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of an idea of what the game play was like. Um, you know, just to get a feel for it. Again, the rhythm, the look. I think this game is aged well. It's, it really is a fun combo of really the, the best that 2K and Live at the time had to offer. We don't really know what Live would be in 2023. Uh, based on the last installment, I think it would be okay. I hope they do decide to bring it back. It's not a licensing issue like it was for the NFL 2K franchise. This was a simple situation where EA decided not to expend the funds on this uh, game anymore. And, you know, in a lot of ways, I think we lost out on that. So hopefully they bring that back. Um, here's what game was, Dynasty Playoffs, FIBA World Championship, Fantasy Teams. Those are really good games. Uh, I mean, just play the game. So, that's it for me. That's it for this, uh, this video of the new live fan. And once again, come back soon so we can have some more fun here in the corner arcade.